Hey, what's up? It's me, Thomas Murphy Cosplay, and today we will be looking at my Dark Magician deck. Yeah, so, um, you guys possibly remember me mentioning that I run other card decks besides my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck, and this time I'll be showing you guys my Dark Magician deck. So, start off, we are going to show you guys my three copies of Dark Magician, as usual, just like my Red Eyes deck, three copies of Dark Magician, just like in a Red Eyes deck, three copies of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Three copies of Polonium Oracle Mahad. One of my favourite cards that I like using in a way to summon Dark Magician as well. Um, what you do is just, if you draw this card, um, I think it's in your draw phase or when you're just doing a normal draw. Well, when you draw this card, you can reveal it and then you can special summon this card right from your hand. So that's actually really cool. And um, if this gets destroyed, I can special summon a Dark Magician whether it's in my hand, deck, or graveyard. So yeah, really cool card to play. I run... Oops. I run two copies of Magician of Dark Illusions. This card's um, name becomes Dark Magician, and um, it's an actual really nice alternative to your... Um, um, regular Dark Magician if you want to anyways. Um, I also um, like using it if I... Because I have um, some cards which we'll get to soon. That requires banishing Dark Magician if I wanted to use it. And I could use this as an alternative. Anyway, so that's really cool. Three copies of Buster Blader. And yes, this deck does run um, some Buster Blader support cards for obvious reasons. Because of Dark Paladin and other cards you will possibly see be seeing soon. Hold up. Never mind. Hold up for a sec. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, my cat was just outside and he was doing something anyway, so just had to check on him for a couple minutes. Anyways, um, that's right. Um, one copy of Black Plus the Soldier on by the beginning. Um, unlike my Red, Eye, red Eyes deck, <laughs> sorry, um, unlike my Red Eyes deck, um, you will be playing both light and dark monsters, so I think it's... um. A nice little thing to have in your deck as well. So, Black Lust Soldier Envoy at the beginning. It can either attack twice or attack and banish anyway. Um, and the summoning methods, the only way to summon it is if you banish a light and dark monster. One copy of Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, if you summon this, you can um, bring back a spell um card from your graveyard anyway so yeah basically a monster version of um of magical stone excavation and now three copies of dark magician girl um obviously um this card um gains uh, 300 attack point for every dark magician or dark magician Magician of Black Chaos from either player's graveyard. That's pretty nice. Three copies of Skilled White Magician. Um, that's for your Buster Blader. Um, since you'll be using spell cards um, a lot. Or a fair amount of spell cards. And the fact that... Um, well... It's your easy, my easiest way of summoning Buster Blader. Anyway, that's just um, my main way of summoning Buster Blader. 
Three copies of Chocolate Magician Girl. Um, you can discard a spellcaster and draw one card, so it's really nice to have on your field. Um, so if you have a few high level spellcasters you need to get rid of, and if you want to dig into your hand, you're, you can use that. Yes, we got the cat here, Sushi. We got one copy of Magician's Rod. <laughs> one copy of Wizard Buster, the Destruction Sword. It looks like, yes, it looks just like you, Sushi. <laughs> and um, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Yes, it does look like Sushi. I'll just, I'll show you a sec. See? Hello? Oh, I got this big stretch. Still, it looks, you look, doesn't it look like you? It looks just like you, boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm? Alright. Right. Oh, let's go, boy. Let daddy finish his video, okay? <laughs> sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Oh, just got... Um, yeah, so... Yep, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> sorry for the second interruption. Alright, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, you can equip this um, to your um, Buster Blader. And um, it's a, one of my favourite tuner monsters as well, so I like tuning this with Buster Blader or any of um, or my Dark Magician, whatever. So it's just a straight up um, simple tuner as well. <laughs> you could equip it to Buster Blader. Sorry, I'm just a little... I'm just laughing about my cat, sorry. Uh, um, Tuning Magician, another um, tuner monster. Um, even though that um, my Dark Magician deck does not run many tuners, I just have these anyway, but you'll possibly see why I have them. Um, two copies of Berry Magician Girl. Um, if you normal summon this, you can add a Magician Girl from my from my from the deck to my hand, so I could grab out Chocolate Magician Girl. And if this gets targeted for attack, I can special summon Dark Magician Girl. Anyway, so I pretty much bring out two or three monsters in the same time, almost the same time. I only have uh, two rituals. One is Illusion of Chaos and the classic um, Black Luster Soldier, which you will see why. I mean, that the Illusion of Chaos is almost like a... is just another card that I like to have as well. So, that's all for um, monster cards, anyways. That's all for monster cards anyway. Let's move on to spell cards. So for spell cards, um, we're going to look at the um, fusion materials first, which um, by the time I show you the fusion materials, you're pretty much kind of guessing what I obviously have anyway. Just like in my Red Eyes deck, when you looked at the, when you saw the fusion materials, you're like, oh, okay, this is what you have anyway and what you're going to fusion summon, but yeah. Here is I of Tamias. Um, two different kinds of fusion summonings. Um, Destruction Swordsman Fusion for two different monsters I can fusion summon, which you'll probably know. Um, you can discard a card and then you can bring it back to your hand anyway, which is actually really nice. Um, Magicalized Fusion, which is um, obviously why um, Magician of Dark Illusions would come in handy in case you don't want to banish your regular Dark Magician. Dragon's Mirror, same here for same reason why I have um, Magician of Dark Illusions with for Magicalized Fusion. So it's like a um, 
little decoy if you want. If well, if you don't want to um, banish your dark magician, and you'll see the fusion materials. Don't worry, anyway. Two copies of polarization. Um, secret villager of the spellcaster. Your field spell. Um, dark magical circle. You can actually. Um, which is um, what every Dark Magician deck needs. So, a few broken ass um, spell cards that are really good. Dark Magic Veil, pay a thousand life points and um, special summon a um, Dark Spellcaster monster. So, it could be your Magician of Dark Illusions, Dark Magician of Chaos, or your regular Dark Magician. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, Sage's Stone, if you have Dark Magician Girl, you can just use this uh, for Dark Magician. Monster Reborn. Two copies of Chaos Form, anyways. Part of Acquisitiveness, since you would be banishing um, some cards anyway from your graveyard. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, obviously for your Buster Blader. Like, you could use that along with um, your um, Destruction Swordsman Fusion, along with that. Dark Burning Magic nukes your field. Dark Magic Attack gets rid of all spell cards. Dark Burning Attack, which um, is for destroying all monsters. Dedication through light and darkness for tributing Dark Magician, make Dark Magician of Chaos, and two copies of Magic Formula, which you can use it to heal yourself anyway if you've taken damage or anything like that. So that's it for um, um, spell cards, and let's move on to traps. Yes, this Dark Magician deck does run traps, face down traps, just like. My, well, unlike my Red Eyes deck, this deck does run, um, dot traps anyway, which I'll show you right away. Magician's Circle, special summon a, um, low-leveled, well, a, um, spellcaster that is, has under, um, 2,000 attack points. So I didn't get my words up properly. Dark Renewal, um, obviously um, when your opponent normal summons a monster, I can target that and one spellcaster monster I control and send both to the graveyard, so it's kind of like a soul exchange in the graveyard. Eternal Soul, really nice um, looking trap card because it um, basically protects all your um, back, basically protects your um, back row. Um, Destruction Sword um, Flash, since um, basically banishes all cards anyway. And yes, you do have Buster Blade of Fusions, obviously. And Jar of Avarice. That's all for traps, and now we're going to look at the extra deck. Now for extra deck, we got one Underclock Taker. This deck runs... Um, Link Monsters, just to let you know, like more Link Monsters than my Red Eyes deck um, for obvious reasons because of uh, me summoning so many different types of Dark Magicians. I was like, why not summon, have Link summoning more Link Monsters? Um, Security Dragon, one copy of that. One copy of Trigate Wizard. friend of mine um, gave this to me years ago anyway, and I still kept it. Still have it. Good friend of mine. Um, Transcode Talker, um, a Link 3. One copy of Firewall Dragon. One copy of Ebon High Magician, which is why I do have a few level 7s as well. Um, Buster Dragon, um, which is like DNA surgery, but only 
if you, but only just for dragon types. Um, one copy of Stardust Dragon. One copy of Gaia the Dragon Champion. We'll get to why I have that. Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite, since um, I basically have some, um, well, basically because I have Eye of Tamias. One copy of Amulet Dragon, that's for your Tamias as well. One copy of Dark Paladin, obviously, because which is for your um, Destruction um, Swordsman Fusion card. And same goes to Buster Blade, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Them two are your, uh, for um, your um, Destruction um, Swordsman Fusion spell. Dark Magician, the Knight of um, Dark... Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. It's a very... Full of words, really. <laughs> So, yeah, you can use this, which is why I have um, Gaia the Dragon Champion anyway, because you can inflict piercing damage. Although, um, Buster Blade the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, you basically... Um, well, if you have Buster Dragon and Buster Blade the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, your, monsters can, your opponent's monsters cannot do anything at all. Because of um, this targeting um, dragon types... And this, turning all monsters into dragons. And this is why I have Dragon's Mirror. For um, Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. And um, as well as um, for Amulet Dragon and um, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Anyway, so it's like, okay, you can... If Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight was in your graveyard... You can actually Dragon's Mirror and make Amulet Dragon if you want. That's just something I came up with. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, obviously. Just like my Red Eyes deck has. And Master of Chaos, which is why I have a couple of um, Ritual Monsters as well. So, Dark Magician of Chaos. No. Sorry, Dark Magician... A Chaos Monster or Black Luster Soldier, that's a ritual, and you can actually bring up... You can special summon either a Dark or a Light, tribute a Dark and Light Monster, banish everything, I think it says. Yeah, banish all monsters anyway, and if this gets sent to the graveyard, you can um, bring back a spell card if you want. That's insane, but really good. Yeah, so this um, Dark Magician deck of mine is basically just mainly about just um, giving you um, so many options in different and having really crazy types of summoning. And this is just what it's mainly about, just summoning cards anyway and having some creative ways to use your spell cards if you want and to adapt just... Yeah, so it's an adaptive deck, just like uh, my Red Eyes, but this is more about just fusion summoning and summoning all different kinds of monsters. Unlike my Red Eyes deck, where my Red Eyes is just straight up going for the life points. That's what my Red Eyes deck was mainly about, is going for the life points, but Dark Magician for me is about just summoning... Um, different types of monsters anyway, if I want to. So yeah, um, I hope you guys um, like um, this um, deck profile, and um, I don't know what else to um, bring up next anyway, but um, I'll see how I go in the future anyways. Um, but thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.